what you doing? I'm your Otaku Tainer, the AC Source, with this disappointing Otaku Tainment Reviews. I will be talking about Betwixt, a Viz anthology of half manga, half not manga, regardless of what it says, but it says a horror manga anthology. I got, I got stuff to talk about with this. I'm not going to review each series in here. There's six one-shots. And honestly, all of them kind of creepy, some more so than others, but only half of them are actually manga, which is what I'm going to talk about and why I'm going to talk about it. At first, I didn't even care to get this. I was only really interested because like, oh, the cover looks like just like Junji Ito art. Then while looking in a bookstore, I opened it up just to see uh, and realized the forward and covered art is by Junji Ito. I was like, cool. However, I did not read the forward while I was in the bookstore because, like, has Juji Ito's name on it. I'm going to get it right away, not even question it. And I really wish I would have at least read the forward before getting it. And I still don't know if I regret it because now it gives me something to talk about. But in the forward, at the very end, Juji Ito does say, <sighs> as many of you know, English and Japanese manga are read in opposite direction. Okay. No, no, that's not it at all. We took advantage of that by having both sides have their own front cover. There is no back for this book. And I was like, well, okay, that is interesting. It's an anime idea that allows you to start reading from your side once you read from both sides to where the stories meet in the middle between. You're very, very careful not to get stuck in between. The thing is, as you, as many of you already know, English and Japanese manga are read in the opposite direction. Yeah, as. And that's a weird thing to say. In opposite direction, as in from regular comics. That, if you say it like that, yes. English and Japanese manga are read from the op opposite direction of where American comics are normally read. However, what this actually means is Japanese manga is read from an opposite direction of how English comics, graphic novels, are read. They're not manga. But... This is at least a good way to tell the difference between Japanese manga or to tell. You don't need Japanese in there. Manga. You can tell what manga actually is art-wise, style-wise, compared to Western comics that they try to call manga, which it's not. There's an obvious difference between art. Okay. But art in manga can have differences there's not a set manga art style there is you know paneling styles inking styles but it there's nothing dead set the most obvious thing is it is read from right to left through these series are read left to right not only that they have very obvious art styles that are very western to graphic novels to american cartoons slash also some kind of manhwa influence to them so even though manga doesn't have a set style, the art can vary. They somehow, Viz somehow managed to pick the least, the one shots that look the least like manga somehow. I give so much like leeway with what art can look like and they still managed to fuck that up. <sighs> okay, so there are three, obviously manga, Japanese manga if you want to say, but it, you can just say manga. Manga doesn't have to be Japanese, I will say that. English, Americans, Western, they can make manga. That's not the issue. The issue is, do you actually know what manga is? But the Japanese side is Kamei, Phil, Inferior, and The Window. All of them, you know, pretty similar styles, like obviously horror manga styles. When you look at them, there's really not that much variation. Maybe the last one has the most unique style of the three the the window but all of them actually pretty creepy um i will say the window at least i was almost almost just like thought it was going to do that bullshit of like oh it's so scary we can't show you the monster it does show you at least one so that almost threw me off because i don't like that part it's hormone show me some shit if it's going to be scary make it scary don't be like oh it's so scary i can't tell you about it that's bullshit i hate when horror series do that now, on the English side, for the English comics, there is, starting weirdly at the bottom, Never Left, Mirror Mirror, and Shadow. 
very, I will say, very distinct art styles. All of them. <laughs> Only the very last one, Shadow, has... It's the closest to what I would say is a manga art style. But like I said, it can vary. But at it's at least closer. <sighs> and, I don't know, looking back at it, I don't even remember what Shadow's story was about. The... Uh, the stories aren't that creative either. I don't remember... I definitely read this, but Shadow makes no sense to me. Never Left is the most predictable horror story you can imagine. And it has the worst art styles. I need to remember to put, show you copies and versions. It's just, it looks so graphic novel. -y. It really reminds me a lot of the Walking Dead comics. Um, there's no excuse for this. This is, this is a terrible idea. Um... I was almost disappointed in Junji Ito. Because, like, why would you write your name onto it? Why would you let them? One, they may have not really informed Junji Ito what the four was going B2. I don't know. I'm not going to speak on Junji Ito's behalf. Also, I'm not even going to speak on the behalf of Japanese people, Japanese creators. Because in Japan, yeah, manga, pretty much a word for all comics, probably. I, like I said, I don't live, I wasn't raised in Japan. I can only speak on what I'm guessing, assuming from experience, the limited experience I have. However, when you bring that term to America, to the Western side of the globe, <laughs> manga is distinctly comics based, you know, originating from Japan. It has a actual definition now when, when it's an English term, when manga is an English word, and that is, thinking of black and white mostly, right to left, a uh, certain kind of paneling, art style, inking, um, really the overall kind of story tones, a lot of this is subtle stuff you won't pick up unless you read a lot of manga, which I have, I read a whole lot. And some of this stuff is forgotten when American or English people try to make manga. It's not that you can't, it's just you weren't brought up in the same culture where this stuff will come more naturally to you because you're not exposed to it completely every day, every day or throughout your whole life. It's You're only exposed to what you can get, which until recently was a lot harder. Um, and the way American companies approached bringing titles to America was to try to make them seem more like, you know, American comics. That a lot of people was upset about that. I made a whole video about this. I don't really need to go over again. I'm just ranting because it upset me. And then they fixed it. Then they started doing it more the Japanese style because that's how manga is. They learn from mistakes. And then more recently, for some reason, they're like, hey, why don't we make it Murka again? <sighs> Fucking, I can only imagine why and where that came from. Mm -hmm. So they started trying to make manga left to right again. And now they're not even bothering to do anything remotely manga style. They're straight up just putting American comics in this book and trying to say, it's manga. Why not? We can get away with it. Nobody's really going to stop us, question us. People are still going to buy it because their Viz is one of the most well-known manga companies now in the U.S. And I'm upset about it. Tokyo Pop doing the same bullshit. I got... I got Nightmare Before Christmas manga. No, it wasn't. It was straight up comics. And it said Disney manga. It said manga when I got it. And it's disappointing. It's false advertising. It's lying. And it's just taking advantage of a now popular term of manga. Everyone is not starting to know what manga is. And they're taking advantage of that. And now just trying to get anyone they can to try to make it seem like manga. They, they pick bad people to try to even get close to representing manga and this book shows you such a good example of the differences in styles of what is manga and what is not manga however i can't recommend buying this because it's so bad and it's so sad because i like junji ito so much so much and it's just it's just not worth it um i can't tell you to support this but i wish i, I could show you an example of like why this is if he's mm, i don't know if you if you're in a bookstore look at it look through this and just know the example now i went on a tangent without actually going through what i want to talk about so first story so obviously 
American graphic novel and looks just like Walking Dead. The second one is a mix between art style wise of American cartoons and Monra. The only difference is this is at least not as vertical as Monra is. But I will say it has the creepiest story. It has probably the best story of all of them. It, maybe it's because I hate mirrors and it's about mirrors. But then the last one, like I said, I don't remember the story. The story makes no sense to me. But as far as art style, it definitely is the most manga oriented. And then like the actual manga, there's not much to say about them because I'm complaining mostly. And there's nothing to complain about. Except for that, the one about where I thought it wasn't going to show or actually do anything. But... I'm going to stop right there. I said what I needed to say. Don't get this. Don't support this idea of that manga should be left to right. So support the creators and make sure the creators know what they're actually making. And if you are someone who thinks are making something that is called, that you're calling manga, that is left to right comics, keep making what you're making. I encourage creativity. I want people to make anything. Call it what it is, though. You don't have to try to capitalize on this idea of like, oh, manga's popular, I'm just going to call it manga. No, stop it. There's more terms coming out that you can use to represent it. Mana, There's that's a cool movement coming up. It's uh, Western comics taking a lot of influence from Japanese manga. It can be left to right, right to left. It doesn't matter. I actually know what you're talking about. You don't have to disappoint me. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's it. I'll, otherwise, I'll just rant forever. But that has been me talking about betwixt to a point to an extent. Why I'm disappointed in this. There's a whole lot of that. And then especially manga is right to left. Left to right is just any other comic. Right to left is what makes manga uniquely what it is. That's the one thing that is the most unique about it. Um, I have another video talking all about how what manga is and how it is specifically right to left uh look into that too if you want to know more if you want to disagree with me if you want to talk more about it go ahead you can i definitely want to talk about it if you make left to right comics and want to call it manga and want to talk to me or disagree with me argue with me res you know respectfully uh go ahead do that let me know i'll talk to you uh, especially i'll make a whole podcast out episode out of it if you want to but yeah if not leave comments find me on social media all that stuff but i do want to at least thank my kofi members uh vix labs and julio vasquez if you also also want to help support me so i can go on rants like this i guess go ahead and join my kofi but that is it for this otaku tainment reviews i've been your talk tainer the acs until next time thank you so much and bye